What's going on everyone, it's the Print House and today I'm going to tell you guys how to possibly fix your clogging nozzle. So first off, I want to apologize. I have multiple printers running. The audio might be a little bit weird, but guys, I've been having an issue with this Ender 3 V2. The nozzle keeps clogging. This is the second time that I've replaced this nozzle in about five hours of printing, and it keeps giving me extreme under extrusion, and after it starts under extruding, it essentially starts to not extrude at all. So I've disassembled the fan shroud and I examined the uh, hot end and when I touched this uh, that was a little bit hot this shakes I don't think that's right so I don't know if this is gonna fix the problem but we're gonna see you'll see we have two screws uh, and one of them is very loose the other one is a little bit loose as well so we're gonna tighten these down and see what happens so while the fan shroud is off and the nozzle is out and I'm preheated, I'm going to stick the Allen key up in here and try and remove any bits of plastic that is stuck. Guys, be careful. You obviously don't want to strip anything and you don't want to pull plastic down into your threads because that would be a bad day. So anyway, whatever you pull out, I've already done this a couple times. Uh, you don't want to do it too much. You don't want to damage anything, but... If you can get any of the gunk out, uh, that also might be clogging your nozzle. Now, I did pull out an extreme amount of plastic that should not have been there. Uh, that was clogging the hot end uh, between the nozzle and whatever pipe lies. <laughs> so guys, get out whatever you can. Next thing we're doing is replacing the nozzle. Guys, do not do this without a tool. It gets very hot very quickly. I am using no tool to start it because I know that I can get it in there very quickly. But guys, please, please, please use a tool. This is a prime opportunity to replace the connectors uh, for the Bowden tube, so the connector that connects to the extruder side as well as the hot end side. These are really cheap, it just makes sense to replace them, especially because we're getting a clog issue. This could fix it, we don't know, but once we're already halfway there, may as well go all the way. Anytime you're dealing with the hot end, always preheat the block. Yours should already be preheated because you just replaced the nozzle, but maintain the preheated state and loosen that bolt as well as the one over here. And then we're going to pull the green tabs, release a little bit of pressure, and then we're going to remove the Bowden tube. Once you have the threads all the way out, just give it a tug. Now, this might have a little bit of friction for you. If it does, it could be pulling out plastic, which is a really good thing, but give it a tug, it'll come out. Next, so after you get this side, come over to this side, get the threads out and pull it off and your Bowden tube is now released. Once you have your Bowden tube off, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the blue clips. They just pull off and once you have the blue clips removed, we're going to remove this side first. This side was the side that was screwed into the extruder. Just go ahead and push this down and give it a tug and it'll pop right off. And once that is off, you're going to take the side that was in your hot end and you're going to pull it backwards. Pull it back towards the side where the extruder was. If you do this incorrectly, you can and you likely will damage your Bowden tube. So absolutely make sure you pull this towards the direction of where the extruder was. The next thing to do is going to be to put the new connectors on once the old connectors are off. So take your new connector and locate the side of the tube that was already in your hot end. This was mine. 
take the connector and slide it on just a little bit. Don't slide it on very far. Now you must slide the connector on from where it was already connected into the hot end. If you try and slide the connector on from this side, you're going to damage the Bowden tube. These connectors have teeth in them, which prevent the Bowden tube from pulling outwards. So if you try to slide this connector uh, this direction on the Bowden tube, it's going to get severely damaged. So only put the connector in just a little bit, then you're going to come over to this side and you're going to connect on the part that goes into the extruder. Just push it in and just give it a real nice push. Make sure it seats into place. Uh, after that, go ahead and uh, put your pressure fitting on here. Don't put it on the other side because we're still not done with this. Once your new connectors are on both sides, go ahead and put the part of your Bowden tube in, tighten it down just a little bit. Be very careful because this might be hot. Uh, once you get the thread started, go ahead and now push the Bowden tube as far down as it will go. That's going to make it the correct length and go ahead and finish threading this in. Torque it down, but don't torque it down so tight that you end up stripping the threads. And then also go over here and screw this in. Same with torque. Don't torque it down so much that the threads break, but you absolutely don't want this vibrating out. Once you have this fully torqued down, go ahead and give it one last push down. You really wanna make sure this has bottomed out into the hot end as far as it'll go. When you know it's as far as it'll go, go ahead and put your pressure fitting back in there, put your cover back on, screw it down, and you're good to go. At this point, you have rebuilt some of the main hot end components, hopefully cleared a clog. Go ahead, try a print, and if you still have more issues, then you likely don't have a hardware issue. You're likely going to have an issue with the distance your nozzle is to the bed. You're going to have an issue with the temperature you're printing at. You're going to have another issue. So hopefully this fixed your issue. Hopefully you're able to rebuild the hot end easily enough. I'll see you in the next one, guys.